you got? What do you got? All right. 19. 20. There you go. Welcome to Dwarven Kegger. I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today we're reviewing Shorty Rhinelander. Look at that little thing. Beer. Look at that it's little thing. It's tiny. It's tiny. It's tiny. tiny. Look at that little thing. Uh, so this is, uh, with, this is refreshing as Wisconsin's ne Northwest. Northwoods. I don't know where I'm talking. <laughs> it's north. Um, it's Rhinelander Brewing Company in Monroe, Wisconsin. It is a seven fluid ounce bottle and it is 5% alcohol by volumes. I yeah. expect this to be very drinkable. You know what I'm saying? I don't, here's what I'm expecting. I've never had this beer. I'm expecting something very approachable and um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's see. I don't even know what color it's going to be. By God, it looks like beer. Can you imagine the person who's just like obsessed with this beer and has like so many little bottles stacked everywhere? It is uh, very pale. Kind of got a carbonated light. It looks straw. like apple juice. Light you straw know. color. Your standard. Your standard. Hmm. What does that smell? Is that beer? Do I smell beer? It smells <laughs> just like beer. I get a very, very, very light citrus note. A little weedy. Yeah, nothing, absolutely. nothing too intense. Cheers. It's not bad. It's not, uh... It's not great. It's not the best beer I've ever had. No, it's a beer though. It's also not the worst beer I've ever Here's had. Here's what I'm imagining this beer, where, where I'm imagining it coming from. So you've been up trout fishing, okay, in northern Wisconsin, and you roll into a log cabin bar that's the first thing you've seen in 50 miles, okay? They have something like this on tap. You're not offended by it, but it's nothing that's going to make you want to go back to northern Wisconsin just to drink. And if you don't drink it, they will kill you and bury you behind the cabin. The good people of Wisconsin would not do that. They don't have to be good people. <laughs> They're not all good people. <laughs> it's not bad. It's um, you get a little it's... bit of wheat, a little bit of barley. It's a well balanced lager, but there's just nothing spectacular about it. Yeah, I don't get I don't get a lot of uh, memorable notes from it by any means. It's um, it's beer, but I I mean I would order it if it was on tap just to try it on tap compared to the, like the bottle. I don't think. Yeah, it's just kind of there. I mean, it's I mean I like it. It's good. It's a good beer, but like, hey, I'm not going to be upset to use this beer in cooking. I'm not going to be upset understand. to. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know why I only got seven ounces. Of yeah, it. that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. It's not like it's super strong. It's not like it's super like pungent. Like it doesn't really check. If I'm looking at a graph, right, it's not really like going into the extreme on any category. I really don't know why we couldn't get a full bottle of it. Yeah, I mean, little like, bottles. You, cool, you know though. that this this probably actually ends up costing them more money in the long run to bottle them in a seven ounce bottle I as opposed think to a 12 so. ounce bottle, which is more readily available. But if that's their gimmick, then maybe that's the thing. That being said, this is a solid beer, but it's nothing special. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. I'll give it a two as well. Um, well, I mean, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorvin Kager shenanigans. And if you look forward to this with the craziness here at Dorvin Kager, then hit us up in that Patreon link below. Check out Wildly Cheap. Cheap wine reviews rob has got a new thing going on where he is reviewing wines under what is it like 15 15, 15 bucks 15 and under 15 and under that's crazy you can find so many good wines for 15 and under and he's going to show you which ones are the ones to pick up or i'll just give you my opinion on them because i don't really i'm not a wine guy which makes it even more fun to have him do this. I mean, it's it's genius. It's 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 a wonderful thing. But check out Dom's cigar stuff. Check out my budget booze reviews. Every now and again, there's gonna be a card opening in there. There's gonna be some rants. There's gonna be some cooking. There's gonna be some DK shenanigans. Check out Nick Knack, the partner of the channel. He's got an awesome Call of Duty streaming um, thing. His Twitch is gonna be down in the description below. And uh, till next time, if you're in Northern Wisconsin, it's not the worst thing you could spend your money on. Yes, it is. That's my glaring... Yes, it is. There are far, far better things, and there are no far worse things. I've had far worse things than that. In Wisconsin? No, they have a really good beer. They have a really good beer in Wisconsin, so... But you said far worse things. I'm looking for 
I would like for you right now okay. to share with the great people, the mm -hmm. great kegger heads of the world, mm -hmm. and myself, what exactly you found in Wisconsin that was far worse. Keep in mind we have five people from Wisconsin that watch this channel, and if we lose them, it'll kill us. I had a couple well drinks that in Wisconsin that were worth. Last time I went to Milwaukee, I had a couple mixed drinks that were pretty bad. Yeah, but that doesn't count because that's not specific Beer? to Milwaukee. Because those those well drinks, the mixed, that alcohol. You want me to give you a beer that from no, Milwaukee? No, I don't need a beer. I need a bad experience in Milwaukee. I'm gonna be in honest. Wisconsin. I'm gonna be honest. I'm from Wisconsin, so I guess not. So I guess you misspoke, didn't you? Are you proud of yourself? Like, what the actually, hell is happening I'm right now? Are people people still watching? It's cheers. <laughs> what the hell? No, I don't even know where I'm at. Do we need to talk? Like, 